welcome everybody back to my channel. The show is again Redbox coming back with another game of CK2. We're going to get back into things here again. As you can tell, I've been kind of fooling around with a few different things here. But our Disney game still runs true, so let's hurry up and get back into that with our Iron Man mode. Um, if I recall last time, I think we lost Kingship again, and we are now Duchies. Um, I think that this would be a good time to, like, focus on more of the, uh, lesser power things of the game right now. Uh, as you can tell, we're kind of getting swarmed by, uh, the Muslims, which are the opposites right now. We still have a Lodia, which we still have not taken yet, and we should have taken them long before now, but, um, different issues have come up, come up since then. I have decided to accept your... Uh, patrol. Um, we actually have a council uh, faction that is trying to increase council powers, which I'm not too worried about right now. If, if they if they declare war, I mean, I automatically have to pretty much just let them take it. Like whatever they want, they have to take. They they're gonna take it because I can't do anything. Yep. I guess I have no choice, which is fine. If that's that's the way they want to do it, that's fine. I'm not too worried about it either way. Uh, council, they are empowered. I mean, I don't see any difference anyway, but. Whatever. Let them do what they wish. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fix a couple of these things right here so we can go ahead and get what we need. Uh, we sent our um, Chancellor up here to basically go fight these guys up there. This is uh, my kinsman. We're going to go ahead and give him the... Uh, I guess we'll just give him etiquette. Why not? I really don't know what else to give him. I mean, it's probably not the best choice, but it's not too, too important right at the moment. Uh, gains Rowdy, uh, yeah, 30 prestige, that's fine. Let's see what we have in our character. Our guy is Rowdy, so he's got plus one martial, plus one diplomacy from uh, affectionate, and plus one haughty from, uh, I mean, plus one martial from haughty. So we have a lot of martial in our guy. We also have decent uh, stewardship and diplomacy, so that's pretty good. We also have three in the entry, so that's pretty good, and we have two learning, which is, I mean, not the best, but it's okay. We have six more years for our character to get something going for him. Increase council powers. Let's see what they have here. I really don't know what they want, like what they're going to increase. There's really nothing to increase that I know of. Members seek to increase the amount of decisions of the council so that decree by the ruler alone. Once the faction is sufficiently powerful, they percent ultimatum from Ryan of Sana. Okay, well that's fine. Whatever. He's he's only fifty percent on me, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, let's check out the king. I'm not sure exactly how many troops he has. He has 2,300. So, I mean, I'm not, that's, that's not too bad. Popular customs, we'll go ahead and we'll upgrade that. We'll also upgrade majesty, too, since we have the option to. Um, let me see how many troops they technically say we have. 1.3. Uh, the factions are actually... Oh, okay, so we actually have um, our aunt, who's... Who's actually in line for the crown. Which is kind of disappointing, but I mean, that's okay. I'm not too worried about that either. Uh, Faction-wise, we have, they have 92, no, 91 point something of us, so it's probably best that we just keep raising our vassal, I mean, raising our levies here. Uh, mainly this game right here is not going to entail a whole bunch. We're just going to kind of take a wide overview of the game. This, this video is probably going to be pretty short because of the simple fact we can't do much and we're not going to be able to do much as the game progresses. Um, so right now it looks like the, uh, the opposites are actually in two civil wars right now. They have a peasant revolt that they're losing and they have another peasant revolt that they're losing even more. Demand reconversion. Uh, there will be consequences. I don't know what they're like, what they're trying to do. I guess it's monophysite that they're uh, trying to be. So, yeah, we're just gonna, um, you know, we're gonna have to do our capital. I didn't know if that was our, uh, guy or not. Uh, we're gonna check out our minor, minor titles. I think everything's good for that. Yeah, everything's fine. Our court actually doesn't dislike us a whole lot. The are wanted for Sana. So they're actually gonna try and take us, which is fine. We should have plenty enough troops to, to beat them. He has 2.5k and he has 2.6. We'll raise our 600 and we'll send them to war with him. Since, I mean, we are duchy, so we still have to do what our king wants. Even though we are, our true goal is to become the king again, we, we still have to protect our kingdom. If not, like, we'll, of course, we'll lose. See, all these guys are still part of our uh, domain as well. They're still our vassals, so... 
Uh, Son was born to her aunt, which is actually kind of bad because she's trying to, like, again, gain power. She's trying to take over the duchy, and since she has a son, like, she'll have an heir, too, so it makes it even worse for us. Um, and we don't really have any heirs to us, like, our heirs are, uh, kinsmen, which, I mean, is just about the equivalent of our, uh, aunt, and most, I would assume. For some reason, our king is not, like, sending his troops over, which is kind of surprising. He's taking a little bit longer than what he should. We're sending our, uh... Okay, so one of our holdings is under siege. We're waiting for our, our big stack right here of 2,600 as of right now to go over here and fight with us. Uh, we also have a children lacking a focus, which will be us. We are definitely going to do, uh... Yeah, we're going to do Marshall because of the simple fact that I want more troops and I want to hold more. Our domain size actually has a lot to do with uh, stewardship, but that's fine. I want Marshall though more than anything. I think that would be like, the most important to us right now. If our guys would actually hurry up and like come with us. Okay, so we're going to have about 600 more troops in them, which is going to come from us, mainly that the this, the slight advantage that they are going to have is going to be from us, since they only have 100 more than them without us. Uh, someone gained wounded, which I'm not too worried about at all. That doesn't really have any bearing on us. I want to have about 600 gold before our character gets too much older. Um, we're going to jump into this war. Oh, wow, he's got... 21 stack coming to help him. And we're not going to win anyway, even with even with them there. Which is quite surprising. I don't know how he got so many people to come and help him. I don't know where that extra like stack of guys came from. We're going to go ahead and like lower our levies and so be it, I guess. We're going to have to do something, I guess. I don't know exactly what I'm so, what I need to do here. I don't, I, I don't know, I guess there's really nothing we can do, I guess we're just gonna have to, I don't know, just sit here and wait. Uh, he, of course, like, the opposites have just about had, like, as much luck as possible with this game as far as, like, the revolts go. They just had won and got away with everything, it seems like. They've only lost, like, one major war, and that's kind of, that's kind of been a disappointment, but. As you can tell, like this guy, um, our vassal, all has uh, more troops than we do now. As you can tell, because he's got a higher um, percentage than we do. This video is kind of like this video is not really like living up to the hype, which I was hoping it would. I was hoping that we would actually be okay by the end of this video, but we're really, we're really not. Like it's giving us a lot of trouble. Gains ambitious. Okay, so we are ambitious now, which is helpful. Like we have a lot of extra stuff and a lot of other things now. Um, I would like for my next thing, I guess, is to get more uh, stewardship because we could really use it. Fetch me a traitor and our chancellor. Let's go ahead and let's do this as a duelist. I was wondering what that was. I was just looking at it and I was kind of confused. Anyway, so right now there's really not a whole lot that I can say. We're losing a big war and that's kind of hurting us and we're going to lose a lot because of it. I'm not exactly sure, like, what I should do now. Because the, um, the, our kingdom is going to, like, lose a lot of power now, like, after that. And I don't really know exactly what to do as far as, like, what we have to, like, I, I don't know, I'm just, I'm kind of babbling now because I'm kind of confused. And I'm, like, trying to think what's the best option for us. Um, really nothing, uh. They're defending against the cool. Oh, they're actually defending against a, a uh, kingdom over here, and he's actually winning. What's he? What's he attacking? Holy War for Cavalstool? Oh, actually, no, it's this guy, and he's the defenders is Shah of Talid. So apparently, this guy is actually attacking. Here and the opposites are going to defend with him. Yeah, we're gonna lose the war right here. 68%. They're gonna hit to a. Oh, no, they actually didn't. They are at 78% now. Hmm. 
Interesting. I'm kind of con- I'm kind of like interested to see what's gonna happen now. To since we're actually like I don't know how to say this. Since we're just kind of like sitting here chilling. I guess um now I'm sitting there thinking that's probably best we put our chancellor here and let him like so sit in between like this uh the R the Arwa did because they're the ones that we're fighting right now anyway. So and they're the, and like I said the opposites it's not gonna matter anyway. Like they're either gonna break up or they're not. So at this point I think it's just better that we I think it's better that we just kind of chill with that. These guys should be winning this war, uh, 14% in favor of this guy. If he takes the Taid, which are also Muslims, it'll, like, put a little bit of a hindrance on them. Because, I mean, they can, like, that means that the Hindus will start, like, moving over. Or, uh, I think he's Hindu. Let me see what he is. Yeah, he's Hindu. So, yeah, like, that'll, like, further their faith over this way. And, I mean, it's not, like, our faith, so it's not too, too good. But, I mean, it's decent because it's... You know, it's not the Sunnis, and the Sunnis are giving us a lot of trouble. Like, you can tell, like, how big they are. Like, in, like this is, like, the Miyaza fights where they're supposed to be, and you can see how, like, we have a monophysite uh, heresy, and then we also have the, uh, yeah, some Sunni provinces in our kingdom as well. And we have very few actual Miyaza fight uh, places. And it's just, it's really difficult to, like fight against them. I picked this uh, particular kingdom to play in this series due to the fact that I thought that I could uh, do well early on, and I did well early on, but the opposites started taking over a lot more, a lot quicker than what they usually do when you play this game. So there wasn't a whole lot like going for me once they started expanding, and they didn't break up fast enough, so that really hurt a lot. Oh, and the, uh, the opposites are finally actually in a really, really big revolt. Like, I think the revolt might actually have more than they do. Let him rot. I'm not worried about that. He's actually got 6,000 troops while this guy has 11,000. But the 11,000 are also at war with something else as well. It's just this guy's just at war with them. But they're actually at war with the Taid. Um, they're actually fighting with the Taid as well to defend them. And this war really kind of needs to end for the better of us because we just, there's too much. Okay, so we lost a, we lost something right there. Someone like, uh, usurped something from us. Okay. Hmm. There's a lot of things that we can do here. Uh, I'm going to start like ransoming off some of these prisoners first of all. I didn't realize I had that many. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and, like, release our air as well. Hmm. I really wish that there was something that we could really do. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I had, a, like, my game, like, froze up on me there a little bit. But it's okay. It's not too big. Um. If any of y'all have, like, anything, like, y'all could, like, suggest to me in this particular instance that could help me out, like, please let me know. As far as I know, the only thing I can really do is to, uh, is to just wait for my gold to go up and stuff and just kind of, like, watch that and pretty much just hope that some good things happen to it for us. If not, like, there's really not a whole lot I can do. The good thing is the Kingdom of Cairo is also in another war for the, uh, use of the just. I think, yeah, he's at war with somebody, so, yeah, they have a more uh, Mohalabid. Yeah, this guy's actually pretty big, so, yeah, we're doing, in our particular region, we're doing well. Uh, we're actually having a war, uh, who's at war with us? Is it just this guy? He's got 700 and something troops, so we can actually win this war if we just put all of our troops there and we can just... Yeah, um, bad part about it, I mean, bad thing, uh, get kind. I guess the bad thing about it is, is that we're going to lose this war, and that's going to hurt us a lot, but we're going to win this war probably, and that's going to help us out, I think, a little bit. Basically, all we're doing is trying to like, group them up as fast as possible, because he's only got 700 troops anyway, so we're just trying to get enough to beat him, which I think we should have enough to beat him like this. As you can tell, they have a 400 stack right there. 
Um, I don't know if he's at war with me or he's at war with the whole. I, I guess he's at war with the whole kingdom. I'm ready to just see this war end already because that's done nothing but really just kind of hurt us more than anything. What I probably could do. How much would this be? 250 each. How long is how fast is he doing that? I'm gonna do something really ballsy here. I'm gonna go for broke on this. Um, I'm gonna see if we can try to catch up to these guys before they actually take this province and beat them real quick. I don't know if I can. I think they're too far away, but I'm going for broke pretty much. I'm gonna see if I can get it. Um, oh my, my game is like super super laggy right now. For some reason, it won't let me merge them. I don't know why. Uh, hmm, it's gonna be real close. Okay, what we're going to do here is we're going to merge them all and we're going to send them there real quick. Hopefully we can get there fast enough. We might just get there fast enough. I might have been too late on the, uh, on the draw, but if we did, it's, I mean, you know, it's okay. Ah, uh, it's going to be close. We're probably going to be like one province short. We're probably going to get right there and we're going to miss it. Hmm. Oh, he's still at 70. He's still at 94. Oh, he's at 98. Yeah, we're going to get it. Now, we just got to hope that we can win. Now, that is the big question. We're going to win the right side, so... Yeah, we're going to win the middle now. This might have saved... This might have saved, like, the... The kingdom like a lot right there. I think that this was actually probably a really good idea on my part. Yeah, okay, so that helped a lot. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna disband one of the disband one of them. And we're gonna try and we're gonna wait at least long enough to take back one of these provinces. I think we should have enough to take it back fairly quickly. As you can tell, like the um our our main forces are actually taking back this one right now. I'm not going to chase these guys down because I'm going to focus more on the fact that we're going to try to like take these holdings back. Uh, like this hold, this hurt my gold like a lot. Like I, I gave up a lot to protect that, like these couple provinces right here. So I don't know. Like that's pretty. I, I put a lot into that. Anyway, well yeah, we have um. I actually do have like a wife who's oh she's a uh, she's Orthodox Christian. I didn't realize that she was Orthodox Christian. I must have like forgot that from a previous episode. We're gonna actually go and like hunt these guys down now. I think I believe that that would probably be our best option. We're actually gonna disband our other troops. We have a peasant revolt, which is not good. Oh, but they're um they're fighting off these guys right here, which is pretty good. They're gonna keep uh or they're gonna keep these guys down on us. Yeah, they didn't it didn't go to any to, to our war score with these guys, but it did uh help out a lot. We have a weak claim on this guy. Oh, so the king of um uh of Isnia actually is a kid now. We might actually go to war after this against him. I think that that would probably be our best bet. If he was smart, he would stay here. Please stay there. Please don't leave. Why is he leaving? Why, why is he not staying? Oh, uh, we're definitely going to get out of here. We're definitely not going to be leading these troops anymore. Um, except the betrothal. Um, it's everybody. I'm going to go ahead and get the gold. I think the gold will help more than anything right now. We're going to go ahead and we're going to acquire, become the king of Abysnia. Obviously, that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to do this so we can go ahead and get um, a child. And we're going to just... Where's he going? 
I mean, I guess we're just going to have to go with him down here. I guess he's part of this war right here. I guess this is like a revolt against... Okay, yeah, it's a revolt against the king. Another big question is, is how old is the king? He's 15, so he's not going to be young for very long. Uh, that's kind of... That's kind of disappointing. I was hoping that he would be young. For some reason, these guys have like a lot of troops, and I'm confused why, as to why they have a lot. It's kind of... I don't know, I don't really understand. So it looks like these guys are just going to go ahead and attack him, which is fine. That, that, that's that's what he's going to do, that's okay. Uh, Mary, yeah, he's going to put down that Peasant Revolt pretty quick. Uh, we're going to do shipbuilding, and we're also going to train this person in learning education, which is fine. We've decided to offer you a commander position. No, I'm not being a commander. I do not want to be a commander at all. Demand reconversion, obviously that'd be good. There will be consequences because apparently they don't want to convert to my particular version of our faith, which is, you know, obvious. We also have a claim against the Byzantine Empire now, which is kind of strange. And we also can claim... We can have a claim, uh, we actually have a few claims, we have two claims against Taid. Uh, we could actually do like independence as well, which we're not going to do because that would be kind of dumb. I would, I would argue that it would not be very smart on our part. And I have to say like the war plan against like that our uh, king done in this particular war was not very intelligent. It's probably going to lose us this war. We're gonna hurry up and try to get here fast enough to see if we can like save like one county before he gets to a hundred. I don't think we're going to. No, we, we're definitely not. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and lower that, and we're gonna raise our other troops so we can go ahead and fight off the the opposites. Like you see on my council, except yeah, I want to be. I guess I'm just gonna accept the seat on the council because that's about the most that we can do, honestly. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sow descent into there. As you can tell, I'm kind of, like, upset about that. Um, I think I'm just going to end the episode here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please drop a like in the section below. If you have anything to suggest or have any comments to say, please put them in the section below. If you want to see more in the future, please subscribe. I should have a video out within the next day or so. And, again, I hope all of you guys have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.